So can you tell me a little bit about the project's beginnings, what, how the decision was made to make it the kind of structure that it's going to be and when you started? Ooh, you're asking me to go way back. Um, <laughs> so originally that property was our old crisis center. Um, the discussion started back then as to what, um, you know, we had a fire there in 2011 and after that we we thought we needed to reconsider the, the building had to be condemned and had to be torn down and so at that point we applied for funds through community development block grant in order to do that in order to actually um, demolish the existing building and to build something new um, and I guess we thought one the building itself right now is going to be a large conference center or a large conference space that can that can um, have up to 50 people in there. We needed a meeting space where we could have staff meetings and we could have board meetings um, where we weren't cramped in a really small room, which is what we have now, um, as well as to do transitional housing units. And the thought around the transitional housing units was a way to for us to be able to sustain that program. Currently, we get monies um, through the um, Department of Justice for our transitional housing programs where we directly um, lease apartments with private landlords. So we are going to actually, in this phase, um, once this is completed, we'll have three separate units over there. And so that will increase our capacity in order to provide services to victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, and stalking through our transitional housing program as well as it kind of in help ensure um, housing um, into the future because we don't know how long we'll be able to have this grant through the Department of Justice, um, but we know that transitional housing is a crucial service for those victims. So um, that was the thought and that was kind of the discussion that we had around being able to sustain that program specifically. Um, the community center, I mean, the conference center, community center, also came about as a place for meeting, um, not just for us, but also community. We envision being able to have community partner meetings there. And now, with particularly with COVID and having to do things remotely, we would really like to have that conference space outfitted so that we can also collaborate with our partners in St. Thomas and St. John so that we can have video conferencing technology there and we're trying to um, might have some partnership opportunities with UVI in order to make that happen. So um, not just for us, but also for other nonprofits to be able to meet in that space possibly. Um, so we'll look at ways of make it, making that kind of a community hub. Um, and that's the first phase. There's actually additional Additionally, I should also say we'll have storage that we desperately need um, and we worked really hard to make that happen. Um, that one of the units will be handicap accessible, so it's um, disabled accessible, that will be accessible from the East Street side with parking, designated parking, and um, we will have a lift that from the parking lot here that goes to the, to the main level so that 